So if you have a 2007 through 2014 Chevy uh, Suburban, Tahoe, Yukon, Silverado, they have this uh, pretty common issue with the, the power seat switch. So most functions will work, like you can tilt it. Sometimes you can go maybe backwards, but not forwards. I've broken this one pretty bad, just trying to, to fix it myself. So it now won't go forward or backward. Um, but if you notice that, you know, some or most of the functions are working, it's just a couple that aren't, it's a good uh, chance it's gonna be this switch. So to replace it, all you really need is a flathead screwdriver and a seven millimeter socket wrench. Uh, the replacement switch is optional. Probably the first thing you wanna do to rule it out is swap with a known good switch. So in my case, I had uh, the switch on the other side was good. And it moved the seat forward and back just fine. Um, I swapped that with this bad one just to verify and indeed the switch worked on the other side. So um, I'll show you how to take this guy out and uh, you can try to swap them. And then the part I think is about $30 on Amazon if you do need a, a new one. So the first thing I want to do is take out this seven millimeter bolt right down here. Just like that. Um, this adjuster will just slide right off. You might have to use some force and you may actually pull out the whole assembly, but that's okay, it'll go right back in. Um, just pull straight off on this. Just like that. Um, I've seen some videos will tell you to take this off. You don't really have to. You can kind of get in here uh, with this still on if you're careful. So the switch. Oh yeah, you also have to pull this guy off. And I just put a flathead down in there, pop off the one side or both at once. And then you're free to kind of pull this out. Uh, so you can see that the connector's right in here. You will want to use two hands to um, basically push down on the top of this connector here uh, and then just pull it out from the switch, just like that. Once it's disconnected then, all you gotta do is pry the switch out. Um, you'll see um, there's a couple of clips holding it in on the top and the bottom. So just get in there with your flat head and kind of pry them out. Just like that. Um, and then you can put your good switch in the same way. Um, you'll see the the top and the bottom are the same uh, in terms of these little clips here uh, that snap in. So you gotta use two hands, but you can get this back in here. It'll snap right in and reconnect it and put everything back together. And as you can see now, see it moves forward and backwards.